I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here and today I want to show you how to reset the phone through all of the different methods so that you can potentially fix any type of issues that you're having with the software or even the hardware of the device. So there are a lot of times that Android devices can simply just bug out and they can cause poor battery life, they can cause poor performance, and cause a bunch of lag, it can cause certain things to stop working such as Wi-Fi or mobile data. Sometimes we can do soft resets that prevent the device from actually deleting any of your data. Other times we need to do more hard type of resets that will erase everything to potentially unbrick and fix your device. So today I want to show you how to factory reset the Samsung Galaxy S20. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings application. And we just need to scroll down a bit until you see the general management option. You can see we have only a few options here, but we're going to tap on the reset option. And this actual top thing right here, the reset settings, this is actually what I recommend you first do. I recommend you do a reset of the settings if you're able to. Now, if you're unable to boot into Android, you can't do this. You'll need to do a factory reset through recovery mode or possibly flash the factory images with Odin. But I'm going to show you how to do that factory reset a bit later. So the first thing, if you ever notice anything wrong, do a reset of your settings. You can see exactly what's going to be deleted here. So you're going to have to add your accounts. You're going to have to re-add your personal data, so back up anything ahead of time if you can. Your settings for downloaded apps. This is just a reset of the actual One UI software. And we can do that by tapping the reset and then the reset button. It's going to restart the smartphone. And then it's going to boot you back into the Android operating system. You should only get that warning if you have unlocked the bootloader, as I have. And you can see we are back into Android. It has reset certain things like the screen brightness, but my applications are still installed. So this is a very light way to do a reset. Still worth trying because it doesn't delete as much stuff as the factory reset. And the factory reset is what I want to show you how to do next. Again, if you can boot into Android, try it this way. We go into the settings app scroll down a bit till we see the general management option tap on reset and just like before once you tap into factory data reset you're gonna have a couple of reset buttons that you tap it will erase all of the stuff you have on your phone remove all of your accounts restart the Galaxy S20 and then boot you back into Android, but you're going to have to activate Android again. Because again, the factory data reset is erasing all of the data, including files and downloaded apps. Now, a lot of people can't boot into Android and need to perform a factory reset. So if that's you, we're going to need to power off the device. You can do this by pressing and holding the power and volume down buttons 
for 7 to 15 seconds while you have a USB cable plugged in or you can wait for the battery to run out. Again, the goal is to just get the Galaxy S20, the S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra into a powered down state. With that done, we can then press and hold the power and volume up buttons. I've shown you how to do this before. We just continue holding these two buttons down, the power and volume up, until it boots us to this screen. And we are going to press the volume down button until we get to the wipe data slash factory reset option. Very simple. We just press the power button to select that option. Press the volume down button to select the factory data reset, which confirms that we're going to erase all of the data. Press the power button to select that option. You see down here at the bottom, doing the data reset formats the data partition. It formats the cache partition, the metadata partition, the key data partition, the key refuge partition. And then it takes us back to the main screen. The reboot system now options should automatically be highlighted. So we're just going to press the power button to select that option. And just like before, it's going to restart the smartphone and it's going to boot us back into the Android operating system. And just as I mentioned, except this time, it's going to be taking us to the Android activation screen. So this first boot cycle into Android is going to take a little bit longer than you're probably used to because Samsung's One UI software has to get everything ready, has to cache apps, optimize apps. And now it has finally booted us into, again, like I said, the Android activation screen. And there you have it. That is how to perform a factory data reset on the Samsung Galaxy S20, the Galaxy S20 Plus, and the Galaxy S20 Ultra.